against fans of mixed martial artists with a professional record of 10 wins and 3 losses. He stands 175 centimeters tall and weighs a ready 66.1 kilograms. Representing martial arts Kabul and fighting out of Afghanistan, please welcome Abdul Azim, the Afghan Lion, Badachi! Your referee is the Ben, Jackie Larkin. Decky Larkin will take charge of this contest. We look at the tail of the tape. There's slight height and reach advantage on the side of the Afghanistan fighter, Abdul Azim Badashki. He is in the red corner action. Babayev in the blue. And one interesting little fact for you gentlemen is Abdul Azim. This will be his third weight class in three fights. Last time, due to a, a change in venue, they had to fight up a weight class. So that was a 170. Previously, he's fought at lightweight. And then tonight, he contests this one at featherweight. Just a guy that loves to fight. And Babayev in with a huge takedown right away. Oh, and that is great stand up there from uh, Abdul Azim. Looking for a takedown of his own here. Interesting stuff, eh, Kerik? Needs to be wary of the neck here, gentlemen. This could be a guillotine. Little attempt at a, a ninja choke there, but the head positioning did not allow it. Such an interesting start from Abdul Azim. Yeah, in interesting for him to try and uh, score in uh, the single leg. But perhaps showing uh, his opponent that he has those tools in his locker and lands a beautiful straight right down the pipe right there connecting just behind the ears saw some wobbly legs a little bit there from action but you talk about the game plans that's got to be a little mental victory there coming from abdul azim able to get up from the takedown from action so early in the fight and right now you can see he's leading the dance he's putting the pressure on his opponent but again like we've seen in the previous fight once you commit to those strikes you leave yourself vulnerable to the takedown and beautiful work straight away here from Babayev. looking to impose this ground game at henzo gracie jiu-jitsu now in the guard here of the afghan lion and this is a perfect time for him to try and work for the submission when both men are dry, they're not sweaty. He can get hold of a limb and that guard is open off Badakshi. And Badakshi almost did the work for action coming forward, so committed to those strikes. Mm -hmm. Badakshi is actually showing some sweet jiu-jitsu here. I have to say I'm impressed so far. The regard was excellent. He's got a foot in the hip. Yeah. May try and move his hips, make a little distance, pop back up to standing where I think he's more comfortable. He may even go for an arm bar. Oh, what a coup that would be, gentlemen, if Badakshi <laughs> was able to get a submission on the, the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu fighter. That would be a feather in the cap, without a doubt. He's clamping down on that heavy overhook. You can see he's nice wrist control there. Oh. Trying to feed maybe through for the triangle. But now the look at the wrist control that like you said. Trying to feed that hand behind mm -hmm. the back of uh, Badakshi. Very smart work there. And again, just shows the awareness that's needed when you're involved in these little battles. Maybe a pass coming, gentlemen. No, another regard from the Afghan warrior. We are seeing some evolution in the ground game of uh, Badakshi. Now with that close guard. Trying to work the hips there, but you see Babayev, an experienced ground fighter, just squaring the hips off, moving with his opponent, never letting him settle to achieve that angle he needs. Just under two minutes now left in this first round. Nice hammer fist there by Babayev. And he's just burying his head. He's showing how smart he is because he's all the way down. He's not in what I like to call that no man's land, where you're not all the way down and you're not entirely upright, which leaves you vulnerable. Again, good wrist control from Babayev. Very powerful man from Afghanistan. You can just see every muscle in his body working to control Badashi. And from the bottom, what are you seeing, Kirik? What, what, what's, what does Badashi need to do to make this change, to get this back to the feet? Oh, what you're seeing is superior jiu-jitsu on top. It's almost invisible from the outside, but everything that the Afghan warrior attempts from the bottom gets shut down by subtle movements of the knee forward, subtle following of the hips. What you, what we have to see now from bottom is a stand-up. We need a knee shield, and there wow. it was. Wow, space was made, and he took advantage of that. Oh. But once again, he jumps in. He closes the distance. 
He's got to be careful with that, Phil. And it was Babayev who actually disengaged there. But ducks under, and that again is a win for Badaxi. He wasn't taken down there. Oh, and Babayev taking some deep breaths. We talked about that muscly frame. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. talked about the holes in his game he was able to get the jiu-jitsu player off him wow. made some distance and then took the finish the afghan lion bears his teeth bears his soul and scores a beautiful knockout here at Bria combat federation 47 well i thought we'd seen the knockout of the night earlier on by fahad but that for my money is as beautiful and coming from the position he was in Kirik you said he needed to make space he needed that knee shield once he got it he made his opponent pay and he took the victory his first victory under the brave banner those face plant KOs are very real there's TKOs in mixed martial arts and there's KOs a TKO is when you don't continue a KO is when you can't continue when you go face down on Shovel uppercut to start it off. He threw that from outside the cage. The boat face plant walked off. KO. Absolutely huge. And you can see him embracing Lashid Amiri there. And look at the technique as well, Lev. Look at the way that comes from the foot all the way through the body. The torque on the uppercut. The accuracy on the right hand. Bang! That is all she wrote. And Supreme confidence from that fighter. He could have jumped on his man thrown some more punches to try to end it, but he knew he landed a perfect punch. It's a gangster move, isn't it? The, the walk-off knockout. Beautiful work from Badaxi. Stunning stuff, and you can see just what it meant. Coming in with a lot of pressure on him. Coming off the back of that loss of Bray 45, wanted to make a statement. There's no cleaner statement than knocking your opponent clean out and claiming victory, fantastic stuff. Afghanistan will be proud. Let's make it official, let's hand it to Carlos Kramer. make a mark that's how you make a name that's how you make those memories in history we are getting lined up for the uh, the interview cannot wait to hear from him we saw how emotional he was hello again all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with a successful Abdul Azim Badakshi who has just scored a huge knockout win at Brave Combat Federation 47. How are you feeling, sir? 
असीम आपको कैसा महसूस हो रहा है अभी मैं बहुत खुश हूँ क्योंकि अभी मैं सब लैंग्वेज बोल गया तो थोड़ा हिंदी बात करता हूँ मैं बहुत खुश I'm very happy because uh, right now I cannot remember any languages because of my win and I'm really really happy that I've won this got this win. Well you will definitely remember that knockout. Were you surprised at, at just how well you were able to hang in with his grappling? Was that something you've been working on since your last fight? Uh aap aap aapki practice ki wajah se kya uh जब आप फाइट कर रहे थे आपको लगा था कि आप इतना टाइम रह पाएंगे और कैसे फाइट गए और ग्रैपलिंग की वजह से आप प्रोड्यू लाइक फाइट किया तो आपको लगा था आप इतना टाइम सस्टेन कर पाओगे फाइट मैं अगली बार अहमद मकमतूफ में फाइट हार गया था तो मैं रेसलिंग बहुत किया था तो मेरा ग्राउंड मेरा फाइट इस संदर्भ अच्छा लगता है तो मैं ऐसा फाइट है तो ये जितना हारना है तो ये फाइट फाइट में मैं बहुत कोशिश किया था बहुत मेहनत किया किया कि मैं फाइट इंशाल्लाह जीत जाऊंगा बिकॉज ऑफ माई प्रीवियस लॉस आई थॉट दैट आई टुक दैट लॉस वेरी पर्सनली एंड दिस इज वाई आई वर्क द लॉर ऑन माई रेसलिंग एंड आई थिंक माई स्टैंड अप गेम इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड दिस इज वाई आई फील दैट आई कैन आई कैन डू मच वेल वेन आई एम प्लेइंग वेन आई एम स्टैंडिंग एंड आई एम फाइटिंग Just how confident were you that when you got the fight back standing that you had the capacity and power to knock him out? Uh jab aap fight kar rahe the khade ho kar aapko kitna confidence tha ki aap usko knock out kar sakte ho? Jab main fight karta hu mujhe arna dimag mein nahi hai dil mein mujhe jitna aaya jis mera dil mein mera dimag mein jitna hai kyunki main mehnat karta hu jab mehnat karta hu to arna jitna ala ke paas hai तो मैं ऐसा सोच जाऊंगा कि मैं जीत जाऊंगा इंशाल्लाह। When I fight, I always think that I do not want to lose, and whenever I fight, I think that when I, whenever I fight, I feel that I only want to win, and because and I take my losses very personally, and that's how I fight when I enter the stage, and uh, win and when my win and my loss is because of my Almighty and Allah ke Allah. Yeah, yeah, because of my Allah. And what's next for you in Brave Combat Federation? Would you like to compete again quickly? Would you like to get a little bit of a run going and maybe make your way towards title contention? आपका फ्यूचर का क्या प्लान है और आप क्या देखना चाह आपकी कौन सी आगे आप क्या क्या फाइट के लिए करना चाहोगे और आप आके अपने आप को एक टाइटल फाइट के लिए देखते हो? मैं बड़े फिर चाहूँगा कि मुझे जल्दी और फिर फाइट दे दो क्योंकि मैं अब्दुल रेडी है अब्दुल इस बार आया बेल्ट में आया आरना में नहीं है सब जीतना है इनशाला इन माई डिक्शनरी दर इज नो लॉस इज आई ओनली वॉन्ट टू विन एंड आई विश ब्रेव गिव्स मी अट एज सुन एज पॉसिबल सो दैट आई एम रेडी एंड आई एम रेडी टू फाइट अगैन Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. He is ready to go again. Give it up for the Afghan lion, Abdul Azim Badakhshi. Thanks, thanks.